Dry eyes, the big question. Where is it coming from? How in the world can I get rid of it? Well, let's talk about that. Dry eyes is, is, truthfully, it's an eye disease. Dry eye, eye disease. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that play in to whether you have dry eyes or not. Why are your eyes irritated? Why are they red? Why do I look like I've been drinking alcohol too much and when it's two o'clock in the afternoon? You know, we need to make sure that our eyes are comfortable, they're white, nobody wants these red eyes and irritated eyes. We also don't want the blurry vision that can come with it. So what can we do to help take care of it? Well, to understand what can we do to take care of it, let's talk about what's actually causing the problems. You know, dry eyes themselves can be caused from a myriad of things. A lot of oftentimes it's due because of a disruption in the tear film of the eye. It could be because there's not enough tears on your eye. It could be because the oils from the eyelids aren't very good oils, not healthy oils. And it could be because there's a little bit of inflammation on the eye. Let's talk about that. The first thing we can do um, to help cover or mask dry eyes is to use some artificial tears. Some people have dry eyes because they've been pulling long hours, staying up late, and there's just a couple days of the year where their eyes are irritated. That's when you go and grab some artificial tears. Some good brands are um, Refresh Optive or Sustain Ultra. And you can use those one to two, three times a day. But once you start using them three times a day, there's other options and better options for us to take care of it. The tears, they just cover up the mess. They don't take care of it. So how do we take care of the lack of tears? Could that be because I have rheumatoid arthritis? Could it be because I have another inflammatory disease, lupus? Is it because I actually have a whole bunch of oil glands on my eyelid plugged up and potentially could even be getting styes from it? Well, that could be it as well. So the first thing we'd want to do, if you're having to use tears more than twice a day, come see your eye doctor. Let's take care of it. There's a lot of things. We can do some warm compresses, use some warm cloths on your eyelids, help get, warm up those glands, take your finger, run it down the, the eyelid, and help express those glands out, and then do it up on the bottom lid. That's a wonderful thing, and then you gently brush along um, when you're washing your face or when you're taking your shower. So helping get the nice, healthy oils, and also there's some medications. Restasis you may have heard of. It's a great drug, and it's the only drug that's out there to really, truly help take care of dry eyes or manage it as best as possible. Now, you can try the artificial tears, you can try the warm compresses at home. There's other things we can do. We can use plugs to help plug the tear ducts so the tears can stay on longer. A lot of different options. The one thing I do not want you to do, there is not a visine for that. <laughs> there are some visines that may be good, but I've never seen a patient that has the right visine for the right problem. Please, if your eyes are red, they're irritated, use some artificial tears, maybe the ones I've mentioned, and come see us so we can take care of it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about you know, the different surgical techniques or things you can do to help take care of your eyes, you know, like us on Facebook, like us on Google+, and subscribe to us on YouTube to learn more and keep up to date with your eyes.